honestly, October is my favorite month of the entire year. Not only does it get super pretty outside and all the leaves change color, I love when the trees are like red. It's my favorite. I just think it's so pretty. But also, if we're going to be honest, it's my favorite month because it's my birthday month. I turned 21 on October 29th this year, and I am way too excited about it. So, October is a good month for me. It's a very good month for me. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with my October TBR. I have a total of five books on my TBR. But honestly, I'm probably not going to read anything this month, but your girl going to be ambitious and pretend that she is. Midterms start October 14th, so... Probably not going to actually do reading for fun. I haven't really been reading for fun since school started again. But without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> the first two books that I have on my TBR are actually from my September TBR. I didn't end up finishing them. But, you know, we're gonna move them along down the line into October. The first book is Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare. This is the third and final book in the Infernal Devices trilogy. I started it in September. I'm about halfway through now. The, like, huge event just happened. If you've read the book, you probably know what I'm talking about. But literally, my heart is broken. I cried on the go train home. And I just, I'm not okay. I'm not okay with it. But, you know, it's fine. We're gonna move on. But I'm not okay. My heart is broken. The second book I'm going to try to get to is... City of Fallen Angels by Cassandra Clare. This is the fourth book in the Mortal Instruments series. As you guys know, if you've been on my channel for a while, I've been trying to get through the Mortal Instruments series for like seven million years. So this is the fourth one, and hopefully I get to it. I'm trying to finish it by the end of the year. Is that going to happen? Probably not. Probably won't finish it until like next year, to be honest. But a girl can dream, okay? A girl can dream. The third book is Tales from a Haunted House by Frank Carcota, and I'm not 100% sure what this book is about. The back is kind of confusing, but basically there was a man who built this house for his wife in the early 1900s, and the house has a secret, and the people who end up living in the house, if they discover what the secret is, bad things happen to them. And that's all I really know about it. I kind of picked it only because it's super duper short, so I'm thinking that maybe I can actually finish this book and be able to make an October wrap-up. So we'll see what it's actually about if I get to it. The fourth book I'm hoping to get to is called House, and it is by Frank Peretti and Ted Decker. Had to check. I couldn't remember. That's fine. We'll just keep rolling. Keep rolling the tape, Jay. But I'm not 100% sure what this book is about either. Which is going to be the theme for this whole TBR, apparently. The back of the book sounded super cool. I'll read it to you, and that's why I picked it. It says, Enter house, where you'll find yourself thrown into a killer's deadly game in which the only way to win is to lose, and the only way out is in. The stakes of the game become clear when a tin can is tossed into the house with rules scrawled on it, rules that only a madman, or worse, could have written. Rules that make no sense, yet must be followed. One game, seven players, three rules, game ends at dawn. Like, does that not just sound super creepy? And I need to read it. I just, it needs to happen, and the cover's super creepy, and I just, I think it sounds cool. It's, it's pretty big, so probably not gonna happen, but your girl, again, can dream. The final book. I'm actually the most excited about. Because I found it at the dollar store for $3. When you see what the book is, you guys are gonna share my excitement, because this is actually very exciting. It is Night Film by Marisha Passell. And if you've been on booktube for a while, you know that a lot of people have said that this book is incredible. And the fact that I found it in hardcover, okay, in hardcover, without, like, anything wrong with it, for $3, I'm a very happy girl. Very happy. And also, I just think the cover is super pretty, so I wanted it on my shelf, so as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh my god, yes. Don't actually know what it's about, other than that there's a suicide, and a detective, and a filmmaker, and the last time the detective went to, like, catch this filmmaker he lost his job or his family or something so i'm intrigued a lot of people say it's amazing so your girl gonna hopefully actually read this one if not it will happen eventually i promise and i'll let you know what i think of it but i'm very excited for this beautiful book i think it's very pretty all right guys so that was my october tbr my very ambitious october tbr i will see you all in my next video goodbye